exactly on the beaten path, you know. But welcome to Sedley, welcome to Hubbard Peanut Company, and welcome to our home. I'm Lynn, and this is my son Marshall. And I was just sitting here waiting for you and telling Marshall what it was like growing up here in Sedley almost 60 years ago. I can still see my mother, Dot Hubbard, in her kitchen cooking her special peanuts while the four of us children were playing out in the apple orchard. It sounds like hubs were truly home cooked, born right here in a five room house. And today, our special peanuts are still cooked right here in Sedley, right here in the same place. But boy, have times changed. I can remember when I was a little girl, our one telephone was on a shared party line and everyone in town could hear our conversation. I can also remember jumping in the station wagon after Captain Kangaroo and helping my mother with her special deliveries. Would you like to take a peek inside Dot's kitchen? As you can imagine, this is not exactly Dot's original kitchen. She began with a frying pan and a salt shaker and very quickly grew out of our home into a small shed in our backyard. From what we children call the peanut house, operations progressed to what you see here. Before we go much further, would you like to go out on the farm and see where these peanuts came from? Peanuts aren't really nuts, but legumes that grow on nitrogen-fixing plants in the ground. There are different varieties, including Valencia's and Georgia runners that are used mostly in candies. But our farmers grow the Virginia type, known for their size and great flavor. Seeds are planted in May in our sandy soil, and the plants grow and bush out above ground until midsummer. That's when tiny yellow flowers form and put down root-like pegs. Peanuts begin to form on these pegs and continue to grow until late September or October. When they're ready, they're dug from the ground and turned up to dry for a few days before the peanuts are picked or separated from their vines. After a few more days of drying, trailers are taken to buying or procurement stations where USDA probes samples and grades them according to quality. As you can see, after they are harvested, peanuts go through many processes before they arrive at our plant here in Sedley. One of the last is shelling or removing the hulls. It's at this point that the peanuts are graded according to size and sorted according to quality. My grandmother was only satisfied with the biggest and best flavored peanuts grown in Virginia, so she worked with local shellers to screen the top 1%. She even developed a new category, Super Extra Large, that wasn't even recognized by USDA. And before long, everyone wanted what Dot Hubbard was getting from the shellers. Dry roasting in the oven was the most common method of cooking peanuts back then, but my school teacher mother took the recipe she had grown up with on my grandfather's peanut farm and perfected it. She removed the red skins by hand after blanching the peanuts in very hot water and would then fry them until they were a golden color with tiny blisters popping up all over them. Dot's peanuts were crunchier and had a different flavor from dry roasted peanuts and soon people found their way to Sedley and lined up at the kitchen door to buy hubs. It was all by hand back then. Dot first sold her peanuts in local drugstores, but as a family we made weekly deliveries to Colonial Williamsburg as well as to stores, restaurants, and diners up and down Route 58 and Route 460. She couldn't cook and package hubs fast enough, and soon my dad, H.J., was immersed in working with local engineers to invent the equipment needed to keep up with demand. No one else had been commercially successful with Dot's local farm recipe because no one else had equipment quite like what my father designed. It takes more than high quality raw materials and good equipment to move hubs from our kitchen to store shelves. A well-trained and capable staff of long-term employees oversees operations in the kitchen, along the packaging line, throughout the warehouse, shipping, and beyond. Watchful eyes and quality control, a caring team and customer service, and our dedicated family members ensure that every can of hubs is special. My name is Vernon Parker. I've been cooking peanuts here for 47 years. I remember we had one deep fat fire in a small room to spread peanuts on a piece of brown paper. Today I run a computer that runs the whole operation, but I still watch each and every pass of the peanuts to make sure the peanuts color right. Today, Virginia peanuts are prepared in a similar way by many competitors, some who once sold hubs. Super extra large Virginia peanuts have become a mainstay on store shelves everywhere. 
but there is still no match to the consistent quality of Hub's home-cooked peanuts. We're very grateful to friends and neighbors who love sharing Hub's, and thanks to them, our peanuts are sold in all 50 states and on every continent in the world, except Antarctica. As I sit here in my office, that was the bedroom I shared with my twin sisters as a little girl. I often think about my parents and the adjustments that they made along the way. When Dot first shipped Hubs, the post office didn't have zip codes. There was no such thing as a credit card. But we've gone from the party line to online, and deliveries in the family station wagon, well, we outgrew that a long time ago. Despite so many changes, we're still right here in Sedley, preparing hubs the same way we always have. And as always, our commitment is to you, our customer, our employees, and our community. We want you to have the very best. And by that, we mean when you choose hubs, you've chosen a product that is healthy and safe to eat. Wherever you're going or whatever you're doing, hubs peanuts are the perfect energy food, and we trust that you will love them as much as we do. Thank you for visiting our family, and we hope that you can come back often. But if you can't, we'll be happy to send hubs your way.